So how do you protect your child during a high conflict divorce from a difficult father? So there's two primary ways to do it. One is a direct litigation strategy and the second is to have specificity in your settlement documents. You need to, as you're going through one of these custody battles, the, the best way to handle them is to get them over with as soon as possible. Make sure you have a lawyer who is um, focusing on the end game, getting you to court to prove your position, what's in the child's best interest without allowing time for your husband to start taking things off track, creating um, problems with kids that never existed. So that's part one. Part two is in any of the, the settlement documents in your parenting plan, you have to have a lot of detail. You have to specify everything. Remember, you're divorcing somebody who is high conflict. They're unprone to compromise. They want to do things their way. You have to do a parenting plan that allows you to get a judge to, to force them to do what's agreed upon. And, you know, normal people, you could probably have a parenting plan, you know, on the back of a napkin. But when you're dealing with somebody who's a narcissist or, or another species of a um, psychopath, you have to detail everything uh, that you want to have that's important for your kids after the divorce.